Good morning. We got a couple people. You know, one thing I like about Tillamook County is there's people that'll turn to and get things done. We've got Jay Herder <laughs> here and, and from Phoenix Exchange and Sky Veek and Moonlight Madness is really coming together this year, isn't it? Jay, uh, this is not, when did you start Phoenix Exchange? Um, so we've been open for a little over three years. Okay. Tell us what Phoenix Exchange is. So basically what we do is new and slightly used clothing, shoes and accessories. Um, people come in and they bring us their clothes. We go through them and we pick out what we think would sell in the store and then give them in-store credit for it. I've seen some of the pictures you have on Facebook. You get some beautiful things in there. We do. And the thing is, is we pick everything. So we're really picky about what we have in the store. We make sure that it's clean, no holes, right stuff like that. Of, hey, I think you're close to a nice cream store. <laughs> we are, yes. <laughs> <laughs> Nothing wrong with that. Nope. And, and Sky, Lucky Bear Soap, I mean, you stayed involved, in, and you really are part of our, our merchants community, and, and thank you for that. How's the other things at Lucky Bear? New stuff going on? Um, yeah, it's going really great. I've got my products in about 20 retail stores now. Just signed up another one in Cannon Beach a couple days ago. And we've had uh, a lot of visitors from all over the country in the last week visiting downtown, coming from the beach. So... Well, I'm so totally business has charmed been great. with what you've done with that, that corner building. It's it's really uh, just breathed life into it. Mm-hmm. I'm sure everyone on 2nd Street feels the same way. And you've got some great businesses right on 2nd Street. You're, there's, are you looking forward to what's going to happen on 2nd Street? Yeah, we've got Moonlight Madness coming up <laughs> on August 5th. Just a week away, folks. Yep. Um, And this is a a great yearly community event that's been happening in downtown Tillamook since the 1970s. I've been going since the 80s. and uh, Uh, She's only old enough, that's why. (laughs) (laughs) But yeah, I've I've got fond memories of going in junior high, and and it was just fun to be downtown at nighttime because usually our town rolls up the sidewalks about 5 p.m. So to to be out later was always fun, and getting long stemmed roses to give to a special friend was... Yep. was and what Anderson we looked forward to. Or, uh, you know, we got, and all the businesses get involved. That's what's fun on, on it, too. Our, and 2nd Street will be closed. Yep, we're going to close it down, so it'll be a totally safe environment for families and kids. Now, do you close, so you close uh, between, sec, or, pardon me, between Maine and Pacific, and then close between Maine and, and Ivy? Is that yep. what I'm thinking? Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yes, yep. So we'll be closing at 3 o'clock. That way the all the vendors that will be on 2nd Street will have time to set up and the carnival mm-hmm. games as well. So we have 3 to 5 to set up and then the event will start at 5. And how late? I, I thought I heard we got to stay out late. So um, most most shops are going to stay open till 10. Um, a lot of people, like myself, I stay open till 11 or 12, just depending See, on I how many people are on, in town. Don't you remember that? Sometimes they'd stay open till midnight. It yep. was a lot of fun. Yeah. 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 I remember some of the businesses would get better deals the later you stayed <laughs> yeah. out. Yeah, really. I also know a lot of the businesses and bars will be participating and doing some events as well. So um, they'll be fun until 2 o'clock in the morning. I so think that's it's really, really wonderful. Always before the week, uh, the Friday before fair. So you just knew that that was going to be Moonlight Madness. I suppose you'll be able to get some of those all-you-can-ride bracelets somewhere in town, won't you? Yes, the girls will be over by Anderson's on 2nd Street um, selling those. So. Excellent, yeah. excellent. What, Chao, now, how did you get involved? you got a great group. What made you say, we're going to put some, breathe some life back into Moonlight <laughs> Madness? So um, the TRA came to me and Beth, my partner at the Phoenix and asked us if we were willing to put this on. Uh, I guess they think we're spunky enough and she have enough energy. Acronym, so acronym to fool you because <laughs> all our listeners know she meant the Tillamook Revitalization. Oh, excuse me. Yep. Association. Yep. <laughs> Sorry. Association. I know no, them no, by TRA. No, no. So <laughs> wonderful that those and that's where those dollars belong. Yes. So what and, and so this you got started doing this about when? I believe it was March, okay. maybe a little before. Um, it's been about five months or so. So, yeah, they just 
Go ahead. <laughs> and this year's going to be a carnival circus theme. So we're yeah. really excited. We want to encourage business owners and everybody who shows up to be really creative. Um, come in costume. There's going to be a costume contest at Oh My Stars on Main. So you can stop in there before Moonlight Madness. If you don't have a costume, you could get some cool accessories and do up your outfit. Um, shop at the Phoenix Exchange or Oh My Stars for that. And, and then pop in and get your photo taken for the costume contest. You know, in some uh, another place, even though Roby's isn't downtown, they have their uh, parking lot sale, and they do that every Moonlight Madness. So that's going on all day. There's all yep. kinds of good deals and and fun stuff happening. Was it hard to get pe- uh, your businesses, local businesses, involved? I bet not. You know, it wasn't. When I went up to people, they were really excited. When I I just. Pretty much what I did is I went to every business. I told them exactly what my idea was. And from there, they were like, oh, my gosh, I have to participate. Wonderful. So, yeah, everybody's participating. We have over 20 businesses that are participating. We also have local vendors that will be setting up. Um, I wanted to give people that don't have a storefront a chance to sell their stuff, too. So Nice. nice. I think that um, I kind of missed... I'm not. I, I'm so happy that Nelia is coming back, and that there's going to be someone in Second Street. But Second Street Market was a good little starter place for quite a few businesses, I think, and and maybe this can give them a chance to come out and. Yeah, we both exactly. started there. Yep, we did. Yeah, nice. And yeah. exactly what what the plan was mm-hmm. was to have the what they said incubator. What did they call them? I can't remember. <laughs> but it was a, a, a yeah started us off. Yep. Yeah. Wonderful. I'm going to take a short break. We're going to get back and visit more with Chan Sky. But let's see. Where do you go to find almost anything you need for home improvement? I'll tell you where. Rosenberg's. Rosenberg's has been your local connection for anything you need to build and finish your home to perfection. Carpet, cabinet, paint, electrical, plumbing, nuts and bolts, fencing, windows, doors, and so much more. All those items in one place. But that's only part of the story. What really makes Rosenberg's your stop for home improvement is their people. Their knowledgeable, friendly staff is there to help you through any project. Any question from what paint you should use to how to install a new shower valve, you can get the help you need to do it right the first time. Stop by Rosenberg's today to rediscover what you've known all along. It's better to shop local and work with great people that you can see every day. Build it, plumb it, wire it, paint it. Rosenberg Builder Supply, Tillamook. And you know, and we're back visiting with, with Sky and Che, the, what Rosenberg's, there's a lot of healthy businesses out there. I'm, I'm going to ask you guys if you've seen a difference because I look at when, when you walk in the front door, I, I'm, I'm impressed with what Loton and his people have been doing over at Rosenberg's. But look at our new Roby's building out, going in out there the next door to Tillamook Sporting Goods. Do you, think, do you feel like things are healthier or people are uh, more willing to spend, I guess? Yeah, I think I think uh, you're seeing a lot more new construction lately. Um, and I just recently went on our downtown commercial properties tour. Um, and comparing that to the same tour that I went on last year, things are being bought up and rented out and, and being leased and new businesses are starting. So it feels like uh, things are definitely on the, on the upswing. And we all know, I think I recently read a, a press release from our Tillamook County Board of Realtors. And it's hard to find a single family home. And, and they were talking uh, on the one side about selling because inventory, I mean, the new listings just aren't showing up. There are not a lot of homes out there. Now, you just started something, didn't you? Tell me a little bit about that, Sky. Yeah, um, we recently purchased the Sea Lion Motel in Neatarts, right on the main drag on 131. And it was. Uh, in disrepair for quite a few years, so we repaired, uh, gave it a new roof, new siding, new paint, new flooring, and it's all um, nice and and clean and brand new now, and we're renting those one bedroom, we have six one bedroom units and one two bedroom unit, Um, we're renting those out nightly for vacation rentals, and and we're totally booked through the weekend, and we have been for the last three weekends, so that's that's great, and it's improved the look of knee tarts, cleaning it up, and one thing that's fun, uh, D. Hargath has uh, sheltered nook, those tiny houses in, in Bay City, and, and they are so, they're really adorable. They're they're bigger than tiny houses, that sounds kind of silly, but they're, I, I want to say they're close to like 300 square feet. Yeah, I think they're 396 yeah. square feet apiece. So that's bigger than those little, those little 200 tiny houses, but... Uh, 
I was looking at their uh, bookings, and, and they were just booked straight through, book solid. And you know what I'm thinking? And, and they kind of laid back a little in October, and as you would think it might, I don't know, fishermen aren't as smart about where they stay. But the, the week between Christmas and New Year's, book solid. I think a lot of people like to come and storm watch. It's not it's not just about sunny time at the weather. And then another thing a lot of people don't know is that our weather on the coast in December is actually better weather than in Portland. Exactly. So. I can remember some pretty fine Januarys. So I, <laughs> what made you get started with your business, Jay? What did you – you had this epiphany or something? <laughs> actually, when I was little – my dad owned a little store and it was actually in one of the bedrooms in our house and he would make us go to the goodwill outlet they're really nasty just crazy people in there and they'll push you and shove you just to get the stuff but what they do is they pour all the clothes in a huge bin and you basically just have to hurry and grab everything that's good just so that we could get you know cheap clothes to sell to people, he would sell them to, in Mexico. He would sell them, you know, garage sales, stuff like that. So I've always kind of been a thrifty person, and that's kind of where it started. Um, and then I opened up at the Second Street Market, and then Beth, my partner, um, I actually took her place at Pacific Restaurant because she got pregnant, so I started working for her. And so we barely knew each other, and then she came up to me one day and said, hey, you want to check out this building which was the rainy day bookstore Mm -hmm. so and that's where we've been ever since so good location how do you feel and i i'm looking forward to seeing the work that will be happening it's already started to happen you probably weren't really impressed with the water line but no one usually is but when the uh, it's not really a realignment but changing it to one way and the how do you feel about that now you already um, Sky, you are ready in that position. What do you think of the one way on on second where you're at? I think it's going to be great for us, especially with Pacific Restaurant being right next door to us, and the um, Tillamook Ice Cream and Blue Moon Cafe, and then we've got a little vintage nook that um, just kind of opened up. So I think between all of us and then having that free space where Mm -hmm. people can just hang out and eat food and, you know, we could have live music. I mean, there's so many possibilities that we can do with that street being closed. Oh, it is. Years and years ago, they changed Gresham Main Street from Powell out to, I think, about four blocks. They're really the biggest change was the first two blocks that was a dying area. They had their strip mall out there, and everybody was so impressed with Burnside and what they were doing to it. But but it totally revitalized that part of downtown. And I can really see that happening because you've got, you just named a few great reasons to stop by that you can see right out your front door. Yep, exactly. It's really exciting. One of the things, and I hear people, and I think we just get lazy. If you go to Washington Square, you don't mind parking a couple acres away. But if you if you get here, you don't want to walk two blocks. I just said two acres. Most people know that. <laughs> <laughs> and we have really great parking. You've got some great parking right around you, Sky. Yep, right next door to Lucky Bear Soap, there's a big public parking lot. And then just two blocks away, right across from the Pelican Pub, there's another big, huge parking lot. And then right next to Bonnie's Beads, uh, between 2nd and 3rd, there's another parking lot. So... There's a lot of parking yeah. available. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And I think that's what we need to realize. It's And you can get there. Again, I'd rather park myself. I know a lot of people want to park at your front door. I'd rather not park on Main Street. I'd rather yeah. kind of mm-hmm. get back of the yeah. way. Where... If, if you get out and, and take a walk, I can actually walk to the post office and back faster than I could drive yep. my drive my car and park and, and get back. So, yeah. yep. And you've got your uh, Tillamook bus right there. They're doing something cool for the fair. Uh, um, they're they're going to have, get this right, it starts like at 7 in the morning, and their last pickup out at the fair is almost 1029. We'll call it 1030. No, we better call it 1029 because Shana said 1030. They'll miss the bus. <laughs> for a dollar fifty pass, you can ride the bus all day long. Well, that makes a heck of a lot more sense than your $5 parking or just, Dealing with the parking. Say you got to go back out there a couple of times, and then you go, oh, I want to go out and see the Bellamy Brothers or the 
demolition derby, of course. But you can just use your parking pass, and, and and you don't can avoid all that. You don't have to park in the back or whatever he had found. You can they'll take you right to the door. A lot of businesses do things like that for the fair. I think there's fun stuff. Are you going to do? If, have you got any specials? Anything going on during the fair? Um, we're actually both going to have um, our products in a booth at the fair. Wonderful. So so. Nope. The Phoenix will have some some sweatshirts. I I know one thing that's always happened when I've taken my kids to the fair is sometimes you get sunburnt during the day, and then by the time nighttime comes, yep, everybody's cold, and and this will be a great opportunity to grab a sweatshirt at a low price. Um, I'll have some Lucky Bear soap products there. I'll have some sun relief spray and some some sunscreen and lip balm. So any of those things that you forget, you don't have to leave and go into town. You can just pick them up at the fair. Yeah, perfect. Perfect. How did you decide what to take to the fair? You know, I just take the things that people are really into right now. Um, you know, the styles and, and you know, I asked Skylar if she wanted to put her stuff in the booth as well because I know everybody loves her s- mm-hmm. products. So we're also doing um, some hair wraps. They used to be really cool in like the 80s, 90s. Um, so we're going to bring those back. And feather hair extensions, oh and I've got some metallic um, tattoos that are really popular right now, so that'll be kind of fun. It will be. Yeah. Now, you're going to be in the convention center then? Where, uh, so we're going to be outside. Oh, perfect. Yeah. Oh, tell me where. So we are outside against the building. So let's the see. The long walk. Okay. Yeah, there's the long walk. You go down and over by where like the little bouncy, there's like a big, I don't know what you call those. There's so many um, people that are yeah. there. I but, just, yeah, there's... And, I, and I'll have to get out there, but I'm impressed every year with 125 years this year. That's pretty impressive. Yeah. I'm not sure what I'm going to do with the theme. I have, I'm still rolling that around in my head. The, uh, it's a century of silver. Mm-hmm. And I think that's because... The well, you and I have the year. silver hair for the we theme. That. So. That's right. Mm-hmm. We can just sit around. We'll <laughs> I'll put some stuff in my hair and make it silver. They're getting everything mm-hmm. ready. And, and it is, it's one of... So many county fairs have changed. They're not what they are, what, what our Tillamook Fair is. And, and I can remember as a kid growing up in Estacada and going to the Multnomah County Fair, which used to be in Gresham. And it was a lot of fun. They had a horse track and everything. Then they moved it to the Expo Center and it's never been the same. It's it's not what I would call a county fair. And I think that's what attracts people. Every year, 70 to 80,000 people uh, show up at our fair. Of course, the, that makes 25,000 people in Tillamook went four times. No, no. <laughs> <laughs> but anyway, it's a lot of fun. Let's get back and talk a little bit more about Moonlight Madness in just a moment. But let me take another short break. And then we're going to, because there's a, I want to, you got a list of all these businesses that are involved? I want to hear about them. But... Summer means family camping trips and weekend barbecues. Whether you're on a family vacation or dishing up potato salad at a neighborhood party, the team at Tillamook Regional Medical Center wants you to stay safe this summer. For you grill masters, remove grease and fat buildup on the barbecue to avoid fires. Keep grills away from structures, decks, and high grass and keep kids at a safe distance. There were nearly 17,000 grilling-related ER visits in 2014. They weren't all at Tillamook. If you're headed to a sunny picnic or gathering, apply sunscreen with at least SPF 15. One in five Americans will get skin cancer in their life. Wear a hat and sunglasses to protect your face, neck, and ears. UV rays are strongest between 10 a.m. and 4. And don't forget food safety. Potato salad, condiments, and other foods should be kept out of the sun and on ice to avoid spoiling or bacteria growth. Thank you, Tillamook Regional Medical Center, for wanting to keep us safe and healthy. And we're back visiting with Sky and Chea. And... Give me a list of all the businesses that are involved. Oh, my goodness. There's over 20. So, you know, Oregon Coast Dance Center, they're doing a small carnival. Um, We've got Vapor Voodoo. They're doing a lot of um, sales, $2 box and whatnot. And they're going to have a pool tournament with a $50 prize that's from 6 to 9. So that'll be fun. That's exciting. And there's no entry fee. So anybody can go in there and win a free $50. I mean, why not? Why not? Uh, we also have, you know, Fat Dog Pizza with their mm-hmm. famous $3 slices. Uh, Wildflower is doing 50% off 
um, store wide, and then it's also their anniversary. So they are oh. celebrating. I'm not sure how many years, but they're going to have cake and punch. Helping our Women's Resource Center. Yes. And then we've got Sarah Sodas. She's got dollar oh, cake got bites. And if you haven't had her cake bites, they are amazing. I like the scones. I like the yes. soup. Yes. Oh, Better my get gosh. A cake so bite good. Today. And then Andersons, they're doing their roses as usual. Uh, the Phoenix Exchange is doing $2 racks um, and fair. Um, hair extensions, feather ones. Um, Muddy Waters is doing uh, 12 ounce Italian sodas, mm. mochas, and lattes. Um, we've got uh, the Tillamook Coliseum is it, that's opening night for Suicide Squad, which my husband is really excited <laughs> for. Um, and then they're doing their date night special: two medium drinks, large popcorn, and any size candy for ten dollars. So that's, that's a, a really deal. good deal. Yeah. yeah. And then, of course, our Lucky Bear Soap is doing 10% off store wide. Oh My Stars is doing $1, $2, and $3 bins. And then they also have the, nice. the contest as well. Yeah. Um, we've got Yo Time, $4 fill up. So it's a 16 ounce fro yo with toppings so We're you're talking about yogurt for you people that don't get out and <laughs> <Yeah>. about <laughs> and there's a and there's a frozen yogurt eating contest at oh, yo right. time so it's five bucks to enter and then there's a a prize for the for the first place winner yep and that will be going all day so they'll just be doing contests all day long so you can stop in anytime fun yeah so then we have the robies their annual sale that they always have. Uh, Down to Earth, they're doing 10% to 20% off store wide. Uh, Diamond Art and So Chic Boutique is participating. Mm -hmm. Um, Home Life is also participating. Uh, We've got the Vintage Nest on 2nd Street. She's doing a sip and shop sidewalk sale, so she'll have wine and appetizers. This is so fun. fun. Yeah. Then we have the Rendezvous. They have dollar jello shots and she told me she does not add water it's only alcohol so that's exciting <laughs> well, <of course. laughs> 21 or older and of course it should be and the rendezvous is going to have family karaoke from five to nine with a live dj so that'll be fun yeah then we also have uh, madeline's they're having a street tent sale and sunflower flats is doing now, madeline's is right when you say a street tent mm-hmm. sale so they're over there on on third and pacific they're going to come over onto second street and... so they're just going to set up a tent right outside on the sidewalk oh, perfect yep and they're going to have all of the stuff that they just want to get so rid of so there's <laughs> going to be your reason to wander around all mm-hmm. over town isn't there yeah so i actually have things i mean from all-star appliances all the way to uh oregon coast dance center so um, I've got about four bouncy houses that are spread out throughout the town. Um, and then I have, there's vendors that are going to be behind the old pancake house. Mm-hmm. There's also going to be a bouncy house there and possibly a band. So that's exciting. <laughs> Jada, this is really exciting. Yeah. And then we've got a huge um, photo booth that I'm setting up right there by the um, pancake house. Okay. It's going to be a giant one, so people can go and take pictures. And I've got all kinds of props and and I stuff should, for people. I should ask, what if what if I wanted to bring my dog back with me? I don't see why not. She's awful. <laughs> She's a, she doesn't like to walk very far, but this way it'd be really easy for the Pat Pug dog. She could <laughs> definitely. <laughs> and then in Second Street, of course, we've got the carnival. Um, I've got probably about seven to eight different carnival games. We've got pony rides. We've got, uh, I've actually got a little toddler bouncy house because I know a lot of the little she, tiny kids don't get to jump. Yeah. So I got that in there. And then uh, Nani Papa's is going to be mm-hmm. there. And we've got um, excellent food, popcorn and cotton candy. We've also got the... Students at the high school, the SAFE program, they're going to be setting up and they're going to have nachos and hot dogs and all kinds of treats for everybody. So you can plan, so. You can plan for snacks and dinner. Yeah. Absolutely. Exactly. All night. And tip, I mean, Sky, you mentioned something of because of the following the circus carnival theme, we're going to see some costumes? Yeah, we're yes. really excited about the costume contest that's going to be at Oh My Stars. And we're encouraging everybody who, who comes to dress in costume um, so think carnival, circus, lion tamers, fortune tellers, clowns, strongmen, bearded ladies. Remember all the fun, the fun side freak show things too. So 
it'll it'll be fun and if you need if you need some costume ideas you can pop into oh my stars for for kids sizes and the phoenix exchange has all kinds of great accessories to complete your costume when i was growing up mom had a costume trunk and we had everything from swallowtail coats to dance hall girl dresses and all Mm -hmm. kinds it was it was fun it went, I think every kid should have a costume trunk. Yeah. yeah. We, we, also, have, we have a big one at my house, yeah, for sure. Yeah, we do, too. <laughs> I also have a bunch of street performers as well. I've got um, Chaz Blake, which is doing a 3D art show. Okay. He also does uh, fire juggling. So I've got him and a guy named Eddie. They're going to be, once it gets dark, they're going to be doing um, fire juggling and fire spinning. Um, and they're going to do that right in front of the stage where the concert will be. And the concert is from 7 to 10, and it's Elena Sheldon. Okay. Uh, she's great. She Country, is. Southern Rock, and she's a Betsy, ball of fire. Betsy, she is uh, amazing. Johnson was saying the other day she thought she was lip syncing before she realized that <laughs> yeah, wasn't she's Patsy amazing. <laughs> yeah. I also have, um, I teach dance at Tillamook School of Dance, so my classes will be performing as well, and it's all circus theme. So they'll be dressed up in their circus costumes, circus music, and I'll be doing shows between 5 to 7, and it'll be like every it, 15 minutes. It, was, I, was that uh, Lisa Hoskins? Is she, uh, she's with the museum, and she mentioned she was going to yes. be dancing or doing something she, Yes, too. she's one of my dancers. And are the dancers going to be in which parking lot? So they will actually be in the carnival. So my dancers are actually going to be the carnies. Oh. Cute ones, though. They're cute. My cute, cute little car- carnies. Cute carnies. <laughs> <laughs> and they're going to, so what they're going to do is they're going to do all the, oh, we've got bingo as well. Uh, they're going to do all the games. And then every 15 minutes, each group will dance. And then they'll go back to their, their jobs. Where's the main stage, as it were? So the stage is on 2nd Street, right in front of Headlight Herald. Oh, perfect. Yeah, and okay. I'll have some chairs so people can sit, um, and then the vendors as well. And if this sounds overwhelming and <laughs> you need to take a break and uh, let your kids play, you can chill out and get a chair massage. Oh, yeah. And relax. Yeah. So yeah. Aaron Miller is going to be there um, doing chair massages. This Folks, we're talking about next Friday, all day long, you could be in Tillamook, but you want us, this, the, the big stuff, the big stuff, starts at five? Yes. Sounds like you're going to be, I, well, Shane is going to be asleep, but then you guys will still out, <laughs> be out there partying past midnight. But and, this, thank you guys thank for coming you. in. This is, um, go ahead. We've still got and I'd just like to thank Tillamook Revitalization Association oh, for sponsoring the event, and thanks to Chea for all of your your hard work and your hours rounding up all the businesses and and making this uh what i think is going to be the best moonlight madness yet oh i thank you because getting out there because the businesses wanted to do this you said that when you came to them with the plan they said plan on me being there yes and and that's what it takes and thank you tillamook revitalization association for for seeing that this is something, well, you said it's been going on for Since the 70s. well over 40 years. Yeah. yeah, how did that get to be 40 years? Ago? <laughs> <Wow>. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you again. You know, uh, we got a few birthdays today. Rebecca Hopkins, Tassie O'Neill, and Carol Brown. Happy birthday to all you three of you ladies. A couple anniversaries Tom and Betty Wad and Ed and Eileen Seeger. Happy birthday to you four. A happy anniversary, pardon me. Tom and Betty and Ed and Eileen. Monday, uh, Porty Garibaldi is going to be stopping by. I asked Mike to bring uh, um, John O'Leary and maybe we could get a wrap up on Garibaldi Days, which was wonderful this year. Senior Meals today, 11.30 at St. Mary's by the Sea in Rockaway Beach. That's every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday. And Senior Meals noon every weekday at the Kiowanda Community Center in Pacific City. Farmers Markets today, Manzanita 5 to 8. Good time to make a connection with some of our local farmers. Tomorrow, Tillamook from 9 to 2, Senior Appreciation Day. Daniel Cecil plays live, and Serenity Club is at the community table. And down at uh, South, Nesquin Farmers Market is from 9 to 1. And Sunday, Pacific City, 10 to 2, Whiz Kids Day at the Pacific City Farmers Market. Uh, free fun for the family, Oregon Coast Dance Center is going to do a show, hands-on community arts, sing-along, book giveaways, and more. And every Friday, there's the Garibaldi Jam from 6 to 8 up at the community center in Garibaldi. 10, 15 bluegrass musicians play a little country western, some favorites from the 40s, and more. Admission is by door at the... <laughs> donation at the door. Jenny can't even read. <laughs> Chaya, Sky, thank you both for stopping by. Thanks Thanks for having us. Thank you. Moonlight Madness was only a week away. Thank you, Tillamook.